Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this is Mohammed Radwan. I am an architect and .NET team leader in RTS. Let's continue to part two of the MS Build. Uh, let's uh, first uh, first recap what we have done uh, before. We have described the properties and these properties like variables, and you will start using this variable throughout the build process or tasks. Uh, you will populate these properties before the build will begin so uh, you can send any parameters you want to this uh, value uh, or variables uh, we define also or we describe the build tasks uh, what is the task uh, that you will use throughout the build we take one example of tasks as a message and then we will describe what the tasks we can see here so uh, as a build we can see here that uh, this is the task reference in Microsoft MSDN. So you can see here and starting uh, see what the tasks that you can see: copy tasks, CSS tasks, delete tasks. And here is, for example, make directory that you if you want to make directory. And here is the example message task uh, that using before in the previous example in part one: copy tasks, CSS. C task or C sharp compiler tasks that compile the specific files into assemblies or exe assemblies. Delete tasks, execute tasks that execute command prompt uh, uh, commands that you want to uh, execute it. Move tasks that you want to move uh, some file from source to destination. So this is the task that you can use in targets. We also define what is the target is and and we define target as a group of tasks. You just define a label for the group of tasks. And one of the popular or uh, famous targets debug and release. When you starting using your Visual Studio, you will see here that there is debug and release target. Actually there is no debug here because we don't have a project as you can see. So debug and release is a target that you want to build the application. So use target to so you can execute specific process tasks in um, something different from others. So you can make targets for different situation. You can make targets for debugging when you start developing your application. You want to make some steps, but if you want to release you want some different steps for example you will not create the BDBs or the program database files maybe you want to distribute your files in distributed servers maybe you want to create uh, using FTP and start uh, publishing your website on the web server you can create uh, targeting like staging if you want to uh, making a staging steps or you can make like testing if you want to, to create some specific tasks when you test for example if you want to deploy your project to the QA machines and starting distributing and preparing the project for uh, testing by the QA team so this is a, the target and very important you can call target by uh, calling MS build and the target that you want and here you can say the target you want my target or you can say just defining here the entry point or the first target you want to call you can call target based on target dependencies between target but this is out of the scope uh, of my topic my topic doesn't cover the advanced of the MS build as we still in the first uh, topic or the first step of the MS build uh, tutorial okay let's talk about the fourth important thing what you will build we're talking about the different uh, three things let's talk about items what you will build so we we start defining items we can say uh, we can leave uh, second target so it will be used the items you list all the items that you want to so you can use here for example you can use item group and start listing your item for example here I include program.cs so you can include what the files you want 
you can also use wildcards to include all extension and all files that end with specific extensions so you starting uh, using include like this you can also include using specific uh, items like compile or you can use like a resource or something like this you can also use this type of include item group combining group file 1.cs or file 2.cs so now my item is the group that you will use as this file so you will use my item at this file layer in your uh, building process so here you starting include you can also exclude some file if you want by removing uh, assets.config so you just exclude some files from the include so if you for example including all the file in specific folder you want to exclude some files that end with specific extension so this is what how or how you include the files that you want uh, using to build your applications okay uh, if we save our application now and start loading the project you will see that here is the file that I am including so all include files or all the file that you will use as items it will be here listed in the misspelled if we open the reference you will see that there is no reference to uh, include so we also can include reference because sometimes I need to include reference so I hit include reference to the system and start saving my applications now if I am loading the application now you can see all this reference here uh, existing in the application so if I unload the application and start editing so by this way I can include what I want to include up okay what's the return value from the task to use it or to take decision based on it output output is very important topic and I think it is need um, um, so I will delay it uh, to the next uh, session need dedicated session if there are any other tasks can I create my own libraries custom task yes actually there is uh, many um, you can use MS build extension this is a, a open source community exists in the complex there is other uh, another community is very good community also that has many many uh, build tasks that you can use in your application uh, MS extension build use about uh, uh, 355 tasks that you can use also uh, during your um, building process Reserved properties. There is also some reserved properties that you will uh, use through your application. Here we can see that uh, here is the, for example, MS Build Project Directory. If you're using this property, it will give you the project directory of your project, MS Project File, MS Project Extension, and so on and so forth. So this is the pages that hold all the properties that reserve the properties the final point is MS build well known item metadata the metadata of the items that you included in your uh, build process as you can see here is the MS build um, metadata so here is you can use the full path through directory file name extension let's see an example we can see here so here if you're using this full bus metadata of this file the items that you include you can see here oh this is an error actually because I am uh, targeting second target and I deleted so let's so you can here see the full boss this is the boss of the full boss so this is the metadata that you can use and here is all the metadata file that you can use throughout your projects